Yes, ancient of days, we commit ourselves once again on this prayer line into your hands. Yes, ancient of days, let your perfect will be done tonight. Not the will of man, not the will of any demon or any Satan, but let the will of God be established to the glory of your name. For you have decreed in your word, Father, you said where two or three are gathered together in your name, there you are in the midst of them. Lord, we thank you that you are here in our gathering tonight. You are here to lead us. You are here to deliver us. You are here to show yourself strong. You are here to reveal yourself as our mighty deliverer, our awesome God, the one who is awesome in power, who is awesome in majesty. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Good evening again, brethren. You're welcome to this prayer session. Tonight, I want us to start off by going into the book of First Chronicles, First Chronicles chapter 20. First Chronicles chapter 20. If you have your Bible with you, you can follow with me. I will be reading from the amplified classical version. First Chronicles 20 from verse 4. The Bible says, after this, there arose war at Giza with the Philistines. Then Sibikai the Hushtite slew Sipai of the sons of the giant and they were subdued. Sibikai the Hushtite slew Sipai of the sons of the giant and they were subdued. And then it goes on to verse 5 and says there was war again with the Philistines. And Elhanan son of Jer slew Lami, the brother of Goliath, the Gittite, the staff of whose spear was like a weaver's beam. Verse six. And again, there was war at Gath. There was a man of great stature. Fingers, 24 fingers. Imagine you, you and I, we have 10 fingers and that's the way God ordained it. But this man of great stature had 24 fingers and toes. Six on each hand and on each foot. He also was born to the giant. And when he reproached and defied Israel, Jonathan, son of Shimei, David's brother, slew him. Verse 8. These were born to the giant clan in Gath. And they fell by the hands of David and his servants. Now let's go back to verse 4. I want you to notice something. That all these people were branches offshoots that had come from Goliath. The day that David had defeated Goliath, cut off his head, carried his head off as a trophy, took his armor and his sword as a trophy. You would have thought that was the end of the story of these giants giving them trouble. But the Bible tells us that after these things, there arose war in Giza with the Philistines. And there was a Sipai who had to be subdued. And you know what? He was subdued. When you look at the meaning of the name Sipai, that name means a gatekeeper. You and I, we've already gone through some stages. Goliath has been killed. Even at the weekend, we had a major program. Goliath has been killed. But tonight we want to deal with the offshoots of Goliath. I want you to deal with any satanic gatekeeper. Hushai, sorry, Sibikai the Hushite slew Sipai. That name Sipai means a gatekeeper. I want you to begin to speak in the name of Jesus. Take up the sword of the spirit and say any evil gatekeeper that is refusing for me to possess my possessions and to enter the level that God has ordained for me in this season. I take up the sword of the spirit and I cut them down. Sibikai the Hushite slew Sipai. Let your sword of the spirit begin to move tonight and begin to slay every demonic gatekeeper. Where there are gatekeepers that have been assigned against you, child of God, assigned against your destiny, assigned against your family, assigned against your ministry, assigned against your giftings and your callings. And they're standing at the gate and saying, Look, you can't go far. 
Yes, I know you've prayed. Yes, I know you fasted. Yes, I know you already killed Goliath. But I'm standing here and refusing you access. You're going to rise up in the name of Jesus and begin to pray. Heavenly Father, we stand against every demonic gatekeeper, every gatekeeper that has been assigned to keep us out of our blessing, to keep us out of the fullness of our joy. Every gatekeeper that has been assigned, oh God, as a hindrance to oppose, to stop us, to hinder us. We slay them by the sword of the spirit. We cut to the left, to the right, to the front and the back. Wherever there are demonic gatekeepers, oh God, arise. Let your enemies be scattered. Oh God, arise. Let all those who hate you, let them fall for our sake tonight. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Holy Ghost, expose, discover, and destroy the satanic gatekeepers. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In the book of First Corinthians chapter 16, if you read from verse 8, Apostle Paul said, Look, I've decided to tarry here in Ephesus. I'm not going to change church. I'm not going to move parish. I'm not going to move town. I'm not going to change nation. I am staying here. He said, because in verse 9, there is a great and effectual door that has been opened for me. He said, but there are many adversaries. When you read that first Corinthians 16, 9 in the new living translation, it says there is a wide open door for a great work here. Although many oppose me, there is a wide open door, child of God, that God is open for you, for your breakthrough, for your deliverance, for your lifting, for your emergence. There is a wide open door, but there are many who are opposing you. Tonight, begin to take care of the opposition in the place of prayer. Lift up your voice and say, Father, I thank you for the wide open door that you have opened unto me. The doors of healing, the doors of deliverance, the doors of promotion, the doors of lifting, the doors of divine favor, the doors of increase and large expansion, breaking forth to the left, to the right, to the front and the back. I thank you for these doors oh God that have been opened. But tonight I stand against every adversary, every demonic power, every human power, anything that is against the door, that is against this open door. I come against it in the name of Jesus. The great and open door is there for me. Every demon, every human spirit, whatever it is that is standing at my open door and refusing me access. I come against you. I call down the fire of God. Let the Holy Ghost fire begin to consume the adversaries, the enemies, the opposition in the name of Jesus. Oh God, shut them down. Shut down every opposition. In the name of Jesus, we curse every opposition. In the name of Jesus, let it dry up from its roots. In the name of Jesus, every demonic spirit, I bind your power. Wherever there is opposition to this open door, we bind your power. We bind the powers of darkness. We bind the workers of iniquity. We bind their evil works. We decree and declare concerning us, they cannot prevail. We walk through our door. Every sip guy, every sip guy that been assigned against our open door as a demonic gatekeeper, you are consumed by fire in the name of Jesus. We move forward. We move forward. The Bible says in First Chronicles 20 verse 4, that Sibikai slew Sipai and they were subdued. Father, let every demonic gatekeeper be subdued. Let every satanic opposition be subdued in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's go on to verse 5 of First Chronicles chapter 20. Verse 5. The Bible says, There was war again. They came again. They were not content to stay down. They came again. There was war again with the Philistines. And Elhanan, son of Jer, slew Lami, the brother of Goliath the Gittite, the staff of whose spear was like a weaver's beam. Lami, the brother of Goliath, he rose up. After Goliath had been taken care of by David, his brother Lami woke up and he thought, do you know what? I'm going to finish off what my brother started. I'm going to do what my brother did and finish off. Just like the agents of darkness think they still have an assignment in your life. But tonight we're going to take care of them in the place of prayer. That name Lami, what does it mean? It means a warrior that is an eater, a devourer. 
a warrior that is here to devour. They are here to devour your victory. They are here to devour your blessing. They are here to devour what belongs to you. They eat what belongs to you. It's like you're about to put that fork in your mouth with a spoonful of food and they come and take it away. They devour what is already even in your hand. I want you to pray tonight, just like the children of Israel were victorious over Lami, the brother of Goliath. Every demonic power, every familial spirit, whatever has been assigned to devour what God has given you to eat, arise tonight and begin to destroy them. Arise tonight, call down the fire of God, say, let God arise, let his enemies be scattered, let those who hate my testimony, who are trying to steal it from my mouth, who are trying to stop me from eating the blessing, from enjoying the blessing, let every devourer be cursed in the name of Jesus, let every devourer be rebuked in the name of Jesus, every familiar spirit that has been assigned to steal even what is already in your hand, we locate them by the finger of God. Whichever direction they are coming from, they are trying to devour what has been given to you. Oh God, arise. Let your enemies be scattered wherever the devourers have come from. Whichever direction they are rising from, tonight in the name of Jesus, we refuse for them to eat what belongs to us. Bible says they will not plant for another to eat, that they will live in the houses they build. They will not build for another to live in. Whatever we have labored for and whatever our God has blessed us with, we will not allow Goliath and his brothers to rob us. In the name of Jesus, every spiritual lami, every spiritual brother of Goliath that has risen again to contend with your blessing, to contend with what the Lord has given you. Oh God, arise. Let your enemies be scattered like smoke is driven by the wind. Lord, drive them away like wax melts before fire. Let the fire of God melt them away. Let your presence melt them, oh God. Destroy their evil works. In the name of Jesus, we devour the devourer tonight. We rise against every demonic warrior, every satanic warrior that has girded up against us. We come against you, not in our own strength, but in the name above all names, under the umbrella of the commander of angel armies. We come against you. We come against you in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach. We come against you in the name of the one who is called El Giboa, the one who is El Elyon, the possessor of the heavens and the earth. We come against you tonight and we rebuke you. You devour us in the name of Jesus. You are not permitted into this season of our joy. You are not permitted into our new beginning. You are not permitted in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to go back to First Chronicles 20. We go to verse 6. Bible says, and again they came again. Now, child of God, we are going ahead of them. So that all the times they'll try to come back, we want a permanent solution. We don't want to talk about this anymore. In verse 6, it says again, there was war at Gath. Where there was a man of great stature who had 24 fingers and toes, six on each hand and each foot. He was also born to the giant. And when he reproached and defied Israel, Jonathan, son of Shimei, David's brother, slew him. It says he he reproached and he tried to defy them. Every power, child of God, that wants to defy the name of God in your life. To defy means they're saying, look, your God is irrelevant. Yes, you're saying you have a God. We are telling you your God is irrelevant. We want to proceed with our evil agenda. You know what? I have news for them tonight. Every power that is seeking to defy your God in the name of Jesus, let God arise and let his enemies be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every power seeking to defy God in your life in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that their end has come. They cannot rise up again in the name of Jesus. Anything questioning you that is trying to say to you, where is your God? I announce to them tonight, here is your God. Your God is here. Adonai is here. Emmanuel is here. El Shaddai is here. Ancient of Days is here. The Great and Mighty One is here. El Giboa is here. Jehovah Sabaoth is here. The El Shaddai is here. Jehovah Yahweh is here. The self-existent God whom nobody created. He is here in Jesus' name. 
Amen. It says in First Chronicles 20 verse 8, These that we have listed tonight were born to the giant clan in Gath, and they fell by the hands of David and his servants. In other words, David had an anointing upon him, a, a giant slaying anointing. Everybody who walked with David, who submitted to the leadership of David, received a giant slaying anointing. Tonight we are gathered here under this parish of open heaven. We declare that this parish is a giant slaying parish. Everyone connected here tonight, you are a giant slayer. Let's begin to decree tonight, all of us collectively, wherever there are remnants of any demonic manifestations, wherever there are remnants of giants, any outstanding business in the realm of the spirit, we join our faith together tonight. And we destroy them by fire. Let the fire of God fall and destroy every demonic power. Whatever is made itself out to look like a giant. We know that it's a false reality. The only giant we know is the king of glory. Every false reality that is presenting itself as if it's a giant. It is lying to you and making you think you are a grasshopper. Tonight in the name of Jesus, let that demonic power, let it be burnt to ashes. Let the fire of God destroy them in the name of Jesus. Anything that is making you feel like you're small is making you feel like your testimony is not sure. We decree it a lie in the name of Jesus and we declare the power of God over every man, every woman, every child, every young person connected to this parish. We declare that on this altar, this is a giant slaying altar. Anything that looks like a giant is destroyed. Any lying spirits are, are, are put to shame. Any lying spirits, opposition spirits, adversaries, they are put to shame. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want us to jump to First Chronicles chapter 21 as we begin to round up tonight. The Bible tells us, after this time, after the giant and his branches and his offshoots and his seed and his descendants had been taken care of. When Satan could not find an external enemy, the Bible says in 1 Chronicles 21 verse 1, Satan as an adversary stood up against Israel and stirred up David to number Israel. Satan had no more tactics concerning giants. He couldn't bring a Goliath or the seed of Goliath to find David. The external enemies were taken care of. So what did he do? He stirred up the internal enemy and he caused David to rise up in pride and begin to want to do a census out of the will of God. Satan instigated David to self-sabotage, to sabotage himself, to open the door for Satan to come and steal and kill and destroy. He just wanted to kill people in the nation of Israel, but he found that he couldn't do it with giants. So this time he used an internal enemy. I want you to pray for yourself as we round up tonight. Father, search me and know me. Try me and know my heart. See if there's any wicked way in me. Anything in me, Lord, that Satan could instigate so that I self-sabotage and I destroy my own breakthrough and I open the door once again to the giants and the evil ones. Lord, search me and locate that very weakness and let that weakness be turned to strength. In the name of Jesus, uproot anything, oh God, that Satan could use against me. Whatever Satan and his agents could use against me. Lord, please, by your mercy, Take care of the internal enemy. May I no longer be my own worst enemy. May I not be the weapon that has been fashioned against me. May I not be a self-saboteur. May I not sabotage myself in the name of Jesus. Father God, whatever would cause me to self-sabotage, I am asking in the name of Jesus, uproot it, O oh God. Great is your mercy towards me, your loving kindness towards me, your tender mercies I see day after day. Lord, show me mercy. 
mercy today. Uh, look beyond me, oh God, uh, and sort out anything in me that will become an internal enemy. May I not sabotage myself. Uh, Father, I pray for all my brothers and sisters uh, who are on this platform. Uh, I am asking in the name of Jesus uh, that Lord, uh, you begin to uproot those things in us uh, that could cause us to become sabotage of ourselves. Uh, Lord, stop me from sabotaging myself. Uh, don't allow me to sabotage my children, my children's children. Don't allow me to sabotage my family. Don't allow me to sabotage the ministry. May I not be able to sabotage the work of God uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, shut, oh God every avenue, every door that the Satan and his agents would try to use to access any one of us. We seal our lives our hearts and our minds in the blood of Jesus. We seal our spirit in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Now child of God I want you to begin to thank God for answered prayer. Begin to thank him for we are those who walk by faith not by sight. We believe tonight every giant has been taken care of. None of them are still standing. They have been taken care of. We have a permanent solution to them. They cannot rise up again. The power of God is upon us to bring us to that expected end. The power of God is upon us to give us a permanent breakthrough in the name of Jesus. We believe the word of God in in Mark 11 from verse 22, Jesus said, have faith in God. Truly, I tell you, whoever says to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea and does not doubt at all in his heart. That what he has prayed for, that what he believes will take place. He said it will be done for them. He said, for this reason, I am telling you, whatever you have asked for in prayer, believe, trust, and be confident that it has been granted to you and you will get it. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' much less name we pray. Amen and amen. I thank you once again for every family represented on this prayer altar tonight. Father Lord, I thank you for giving us a resounding victory over every giant and the offsprings of the giant. Thank you for giving us a new beginning. Thank, thank you for the higher ground. Thank you for the increase. Thank you for the enlargement. Thank you for filling our mouths with joy. Thank you for those testimonies, oh God. Thank you for healing, deliverance, transformation, promotion, divine favor, and great new beginnings. To you, Lord, be all the glory. We seal every prayer in the blood of Jesus. I decree and declare, as we all go to sleep tonight, we are sleeping under the shadow of the Almighty. We are sleeping under His wings. The only dreams you will see are from the Holy Spirit. The devil and his agents cannot tamper with your spirit while you're sleeping. They cannot touch you. They cannot deposit evil. The only dreams you will have are from the spirit of God. And when you wake up in the morning, you will not forget them. The Lord will continue to open your eyes. He will give you great wisdom, great discernment, great revelation, prophetic direction to the glory of his name. In Jesus' much less name we pray. Amen and amen.